Welcome back everybody and as I said I'd be introducing my KTM 390 Adventure and this is her currently done 2500 kilometers on her I have crashed her on dirt once not badly I just dropped her on her side and yeah we've got quite a few modifications running here so far we've got the KTM 390 Adventure crash bars, those are the proper KTM crash bars. We have the um, Hebco and Becker rear rack. The pannier bag should be arriving in a few days. We also have what I'm pretty sure is a fake Acro pipe, which is actually off the 390 Duke that I owned for exactly one week before selling it and buying this. We also have the double take mirrors, both right and left. Those have been a lifesaver because nothing is worse than KTM 390 mirrors. They are absolutely shocking. We have a quad lock in the front that I've just drilled, drilled through the original GPS mount. And I have a tank back. So just to give you a bit of an update on this thing, as from the mini review, not that I know much about these things as yet. I have been very impressed with this thing. The electronics have saved me on numerous occasions. It's not overly powerful, but it's more than enough to do really good long distance trips in. It's got me wherever I've needed to, and I've been keeping up with uh, 990 KTM Adventures and 690 Enduros. Look, they're a lot faster than me, they're going to be, but there was no situation where they were able to go a place where I wasn't. On the list of things I do want to do, one of which is I need to replace these tires. So these are the original TKCs, which are more of a 90% on-road, 10% off-road tire. So with them, I've taken them on pea gravel, gravel and sand. The pea gravel situation is not fun at all. Uh, sand is also not great, although we did go riding on the beach with this bad boy and that was a lot of fun. Um, it did really, really well. The only thing I had to figure out was how to turn the traction control off. After that was a really, really good time. So we're going to swap out of here and I'm going to give you a bit of a close up on some of the mods I've done so you guys can see what's happening. If you've got any questions and you want to do more videos on anything else, drop it in the comment section below and then I'll go a little bit more in depth about what I feel about uh, those specific aspects. Get you a little bit closer, that's what the rack looks like, that's what the Acro looks like. A lot of people have told me they think this is fake but I'm not too stressed about that. The KTM crash bars are all right. I've put it down on its side and it keeps the engine perfectly stable. That doesn't touch the engine at all. It works really well. This little tank bag is absolutely legend because it's only a hundred bucks and really does the job quite well. I've got a quad lock hooked up to the front. So what I did is I just took the normal quad lock and I drilled it straight into the GPS mounts over there to save myself a bit of time and money because I'm like, I have to throw it away anyway. I may as well just use it for something. What I've also done, which a lot of people complain about, get a better angle on this, is um, put bar risers at the top over here. And what that's done is actually giving me a lot more control to put it up and away from me. And that was a pain in that because this, the original clutch cable is way too short. So this clutch cable I'm going to make a separate video about because this is quite a big issue on the 390 Adventures because first time I did it I turned left and the clutch engaged itself completely and I lost uh, all power and couldn't accelerate out of the corner which was a bit of a mess. The double take mirrors on the side, those are really, really good. Quite a lot of vibration and speed, but apparently that is single cylinder life. And yeah, she's pretty, pretty good. So as far as the next additions to come, we are gonna put the tail rack on the back. I wanna get the large Hebco and Becker rear rack. Should have actually just bought it at the same time when I took it out. The other thing people moan about are the foot pegs over here, which are at an angle. Look, they're quite strong. The only way to get it like this is that you can take the rubbers out of them, which I have done. 
and yeah another thing really good WP suspension at the front and a suspension at the front and back and I have tested this quite well so yeah that's her if you've got any questions drop it in the comment section below um, I've troubleshooted quite a few issues with this and uh, come out on top both times really impressed with this bike that is my KTM 390 adventure if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and please remember this video is more about helping you guys find out about the bike and all this jazz because I've already troubleshooted a couple of issues and I may have found the issue that you're looking for so be sure to like and comment down below if what you did find what you didn't like or what else you want to know and yeah check you guys soon